On July 6, 2022, my niece Nikki and I flew from Charlotte, North Carolina to New York's JFK Airport. From there, we would catch a flight on Emirates Airlines to Milan, Italy. That's where we would begin our nearly three week long trip throughout Europe. We had several hours to kill while in New York, so of course I managed to find a Lego store in the JFK airport. All right, I'm in JFK airport in New York City. It's about 8.30 p.m. or so, and getting ready to board the Emirates Airlines Airbus A380 to go to Milan, Italy. So I'm super excited about that. Even sitting in economy class, Emirates Airlines is loaded with amenities. The TV on the back of the seat in front of you is huge. It has over 1,500 movies along with television shows, music, lots of games, and it even has a video game controller. The flight navigation was exceptional and you had control over three different cameras mounted on the outside of the airplane. Even the food on Emirates Airlines was outstanding. We had several things we could choose from and everything we had tasted great. The flight from New York to Milan took around 8 hours. We tried to rest as much as we could because we knew we had a busy day ahead of us. Once the sun came up, we had a great view of the Alps out the window. Once we landed and picked up the rental car, we stopped at a grocery store to pick up some snacks and other things we needed over the next week. We had some lunch and then started driving north towards Lucerne, Switzerland.
We ran into quite a bit of traffic and it took longer to get to Lucerne than what we thought. We stopped along the lake to stretch our legs before we went to our Airbnb to check in and drop off our bags. After we checked into our Airbnb, we made the short 10 minute drive to downtown Lucerne. We parked the car in an underground parking garage and walked around and explored the lovely city of Lucerne in the evening. I'm here in Lucerne, Switzerland. Beautiful little town. It's fantastic. Makes you feel like you're in a fairy tale. After exploring the city and having dinner, we went back to our Airbnb and had a great night's rest. The next morning when we got up, our amazing host Sylvia prepared a great little breakfast for us. We checked out of our Airbnb and drove south to the town of Alpnenschnad to take the Cog Railroad to the top of Mount Pilatus.
top of Mount Pilatus, over 7,000 feet in the air here above Lucerne, Switzerland. Instead of taking the Cog Railroad back down, we rode the Dragon Ride Gondola down to the next lowest level of the mountain. It was here that we decided to try out the summer toboggan ride, and boy was it a lot of fun. Nikki actually used the GoPro to record the ride, and I'm glad she did.
just finished riding the bobsled here at Mount Pilatus. It was a lot of fun, actually. It, it went really fast. You can control it, but uh, the further I went along on it, the more brave I got. So right now, the little cable is just pulling me back up to the top. So I'll give you a, a little show here. I have my feet on the car. There's Nikki down that way. Let's see what the car looks like. There we had to take one more set of cable cars back down to the city of Lucerne. Once we got back to Lucerne, one of the main things that I wanted to do while I was in town was to see the Lion Monument. The monument commemorates the Swiss guards who were massacred in 1792 during the French Revolution. When we left there, we walked around town just a little while, picking up some souvenirs, before heading to the train station to take the train back down to the Cog Railroad where our car was parked. Perhaps the most famous thing in Lucerne is the Chapel Bridge. The original bridge was destroyed by a fire in the 1990s, but it was rebuilt and some of the original paintings were saved and are still on display dating back to the 14th century.
When we got back to Pilatus Bon, we had some lunch, and then we hopped in the car. Our next stop was going to be one of the smallest countries in the world, Liechtenstein. 